Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 19th. You know, but the timing is fluid, so you know, there's no such thing as divine timing, and there's no such thing as coincidence, and this reading may or may not be for you. Okay, take what resonates and leave the rest. Remember, there's no such thing as coincidence. So what do we have for around the 19th? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. What do we have for around the 19th? Around the 19th. Ace of Swords reversed. So the Ace of Swords is a lack of clarity in reverse. is a lack of clarity. Somebody may not be telling the truth. There's a lack of communication. No communication. A block in communication. Perhaps feeling powerless. Six of Wands. Now the Six of Wands is coming out of some sort of battle. The battle is over. The competition is over. This game is over. The, it's over. It's over because, you know, there was a struggle of some sort, but the battle is over. So interesting. Oh, Knight of Coins. So we have a very responsible individual here who is building up their financial security. They're building up their security, okay? They're working really hard to build up their status. And they have built up their status. They have. So we have an individual that has built up their status. They have overcome something. The worst is over. You know, they're starting to rebuild their security or their security is building. Okay, because this is victory after hardship. Definitely, definitely. But this Ace of Swords reversed. What is this Ace of Swords reversed? What is this Ace of Swords reversed? Four of Wands. Four of Wands is about commitment, happiness, a get-together, a gathering, a celebration of some sort. Somebody's not telling the truth about the, a commitment or somebody that they're dealing with or something, or they're not communicating. We need to get another card. What is going on with this Ace of Swords? Three of, there's a third party situation. There's a third party situation here. Somebody is not telling the truth, which is interesting. Um, now these are both reunions of some sort. Now this is emotional, so, and this is commitment. Somebody's not telling the truth about hmm, their feelings or something like that, or somebody that they're friends with, or there's another person. This is commitment. This is a reunion. Something is going on here. Uh, something is definitely going on. There's somebody is socializing. They're talking with somebody and they may be hiding it. Hmm. Five of wands. Now that's what comes, that's a conflict. There's, there's many uh, people. Okay, because you notice all those hands. There's obviously several people involved here. Okay, I'm putting it right here. So this is a, a power struggle. Somebody is really struggling. They're playing games. They're, there's a lot of competition. Somebody's not telling the truth about all the competition that they have. Mom is the word, right? So they may be speaking with somebody that... Um, they were once committed to or they're thinking about this person or something like that now this is this card comes before this victory so this could be in the past there was a third party situation of some sort because it goes this way somebody was really struggling they were struggling with uh, 
a lot of people, perhaps, or a third party situation with, with the Three of Cups next to the Five of Wands. They were struggling with, um, I don't know, it's like fighting or sparring, just dealing with some, some fighting, somebody, definitely fighting with an, an individual fighting with somebody that they were married to or they were committed to, but maybe they were hoping for a reunion or something like that. Somebody isn't telling the complete truth. Ah, Four of Swords. Now that is exhausted. Dead end. Death of an idea or a person. And it's interesting because now two cups are covered and we got just one cup here. So what I feel is like we ha we have somebody that was struggling with um, accepting the truth that something has ended, okay? That a relationship that has ended, somebody was struggling with the truth. Maybe they were being dishonest with themselves. They weren't owning up to it. Lack of clarity. So they were holding on to some, holding on to, maybe it's hope that there was going to be a reunion or something. But this is like a dead end. This is the death of a situation or a person or whatever. This is fed up, exhausted, tired. Now, we only got one cup here. We know one cup is love. So there could be another opportunity for love here. There's obviously a lot of competition going on here. There's a lot of competition, period. All right, so I feel like we have an individual that is really sick of the third party situation. They're thick, sick of, of, of playing this game. They, they, they're sick of it. They're sick of playing this game. They're sick of um, dealing with the drama of the third party. They're sick of holding on to hope that there's a commitment. They were unable to wake up. They were un and This is not able to wake up. Okay, the Ace of Swords reverse. That's not waking up. That's a, that's lack of awakening. Okay, there's probably no communication coming from somebody. There's no communication, you know. And now I feel like there's a, some sort of shift because the struggle is over. The struggle is over. The worst is over. This is coming out of the of the uh, done playing games. Okay, this is somebody that is is. No is starting to know their value because that is the, the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is about value. So we have an individual that is, is starting to know their value. They're starting to see their value. They're starting to uh, want to build a new foundation. And I think they're doing so. They've been through, I mean, this is victory after sorrow. So we have an individual that has been through a... It looks like a very dramatic situation with an individual that they were holding on to hope that there was going to be a reunion, but there's been no communication. And now it's over. It's like now they're done playing the game. They're done fighting and they're moving in a new direction slowly, slowly. Okay. This person has obviously been in a very dramatic situation and they're not going to be moving fast because this guy is practical practical and realistic and responsible and uh you know want something secure not not into you know already done playing games done 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 playing games uh eight of swords no this is this is being confined staying in the safety zone we definitely have an individual here that is is fearful they're fearful they're fearful of opening up they're fearful of stepping outside of their safety zone. They're fe fearful of getting tied down because whoever they dealt with in the past probably cheated on them. That's what it looks like to me, you know, and, and so we definitely have a struggle here. Nine of swords reverse, very worried, extremely worried about getting uh, attached, about getting tied down into a commitment. So we have an individual that may have an opportunity for a commitment. They see they have they have a new opportunity with somebody they've been socializing with. Maybe they met this person, like I said the other day on social media. They've been socializing with somebody that wants to have a commitment, but they've been holding on to the last one by the looks of things or the pain the last one caused. But now there's a new opportunity, which because now we only have one cup showing, there's a new opportunity 
that has blossomed or something that it's it's making somebody feel again feel what feel good making them feel good like this is a potential it definitely is potential with this there's potential here there's potential for something solid but with slow movement okay very slow movement this is extremely worried extremely fearful fearful of getting tied down and having to fight again having to battle so we have somebody here that is done with the battling and so they don't want to get back into the battle it's like i don't want to go back to war so you know they 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 feel like they don't want to they're scared they're scared this whoever you, this person is that is very very scared very very scared um, they may even be feeling guilty. They may be feeling guilty for not being able to move forward, which is interesting. Um, hangman reversed, refusing to go in and struggling to let go. Okay. Um, hiding something as well. So we have an individual that is hiding their fear. They're hiding their fear. And because they, they, they won't change, they're very stubborn. This is a very stubborn individual. This person is missing an opportunity. They're missing an opportunity for, for it looks like something emotionally fulfilling. That could be a lot of fun and it could lead to commitment. They're letting their fear and their, their uh, the battles that they had to fight in the past to control their future. So it's pretty sad, but whatever. Uh, ten of swords. Interesting. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, and I shuffle with each with each pull. So I've shuffled, and this so it's interesting. So we have the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. This one came out before this one, but anyway. Um, so this is the end. This is the end. So this is somebody that really is afraid of being tied down. Okay, we have tied here, tied here, and tied here. So really, 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 really afraid of being tied down. This individual is. Um, they feel they don't, they're trapped in their own thoughts. They're trapped in their own mind. They're really, really, they, they're really having a lot of, of fearful thoughts going on with the eight, nine and 10 of swords. Okay. They are in a, extremely, uh, fearful of getting trapped in a, in a commitment and having it go bad. Okay. So this Ten of Swords is, is, is somebody, and they're thinking, they're, they're really thinking negatively. I mean, with all these swords, uh, they may be even having a nervous breakdown. This could be a breakdown of some sort. The Eight of Swords, the Nine of Swords reverse, which is extremely anxious and worried. And the Ten of Swords could be a breakdown. So somebody may be having a breakdown. They may be having a breakdown of some sort. Um... But this is the death of a situation, and this one is too. So something is ending. Somebody is missing an opportunity for love and maybe even commitment, marriage, whatever, because of their fears. Seriously, there's extreme fear here. Now, this is, some, I mean, this is like a death of some sort. Um... Mm -hmm. death is an ending it's an ending of something giving up somebody is giving up they're giving up because whoever they are waiting for is is moving too slow or they're not making any moves oh my god this is a soulmate connection of some sort so we have we have a, a perfect match here we have a perfect match but in order and it's it really is a divine connection okay this is a divine connection this is a potential soulmate so there's a potential soulmate connection here if we if this person that is really struggling with their thoughts and their fear can step out of their comfort zone and follow their heart Somebody has met somebody that they feel a deep connection with, or they're going to very, very soon. This is a perfect union, but this is also a major choice. There's consequences when you get the lover's card. There is consequences. It either will live or it will die. You have to choose. You choose what you want to invest in. There's a definite uh, connection here that is felt between both people, okay? 
it's it's uh, a healing love it's a healing love it's somebody that you, that you know you have shared values with there's it's falling in love it's commitment there's a sexual connection it's a perfect union but we have a, we have one of these individuals that is struggling to let go of their free fear seriously big time it's like they 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 the, the last war that they went through is over and they're so afraid of going back. They don't want to go back to that war and that's why they're not communicating. There's no communication. There's no communication because their fear is insurmountable by the looks of things. They feel the deep connection though. They really do. So, now this is um, recognition of some sort being recognized. Hmm. Ooh, there's a higher power. Somebody could be dealing with a Taurus, could be dealing with a Gemini. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we have Gemini. We have uh, a lot of air, so Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, a lot of air here. We also have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius as well. Anyhow, um, we also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, so we have everybody. We really do. There's an opportunity to get together with somebody uh, that you could fall in love with if uh, somebody decides to step out of their fear and follow their gut. This is God. Okay, this is a higher power. This is the highest authority that has brought in two people together. Okay? One of these individuals has uh, been through a, a war zone. Seriously. Maybe they've even been to war. They've been in the military or something like that. But this Hierophant, this is, this, there could even be a confession. Somebody may be, be, be confessing their feelings. But this is the higher power that is, uh, it's divine connection as well. This is a connection to God and this is a divine connection. So anyway, we have a divine connection here. Um, but this, this Eight of Swords is, is extremely fearful of stepping outside of that safety zone into this contract. I do feel like this is a... Um, real and I hate to repeat myself because some people don't like it but this is a this is a real divine connection okay um, now this this hair font is an individual that has access to God or access to a higher power and, the, and they and they believe okay they believe so I feel like uh, this higher power has brought two people together that are meant to be together and you're going to need to have faith and trust your gut because the Hierophant is about faith. Somebody needs to have faith. But will they? But will they? Now this is this is an individual that decides that they don't want to play games anymore and they're they're ready for peace and they're ready for a commitment and they're ready for a partnership. So there is an opportunity that you know that may be presented with this knight of pentacles you know from an individual that is scared to death so you will need to move slow and give this person time to open up um, they may have not been able to maybe they're changing their mind okay with the hey man reverse they could be they could be changing their mind um, their gut is really, really, really poking them. They also could have some other people that are telling them that they need to go. Okay, with the Six of Swords, they may say, you know, y you need to do this or you should do this or you should go for that or something like that. They could be being urged to do so. Um, but we do have a very smart, dependable, responsible, hardworking individual that has their eye on a soulmate. And they will need to face their fears to move forward. And I think their fears are insurmountable. But God is saying that you need to have faith and step into this new uh, contract because it's meant to be. Um, these let's get one of these one card please for the 19th 
I feel like there, there's been no communication from this person. But God or the higher power is pushing it. They're pushing it. They're pushing it. If you have not met this person yet, uh, maybe they've, they're have they ready. They're going to show up because this is ready. Ready but moving slow. It is definitely slow going. Uh, there's no doubt about that. This person um, may even have some regrets. They may have some regrets that... They betrayed another person because there's betrayal here. That something ended. They, there could be some serious regrets. One card, please. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. And there's friends here that may be urging. I feel like there is. I do believe so. I, I do believe that... Uh, there's an individual that is being told by their friends or somebody that they should go for this connection. I think that's what they're being told. Um, there is also uh, the Hierophant can be a teacher or a counselor or a mentor that has some good advice. So if there is a spiritual individual, the Hierophant is very spiritual, could be a Taurus. Um, but this person has some, some good advice. They have some good advice, some good, um, they can help you. They can help you. And this is a healing love. So it's an opportunity to heal. Oh, look at this. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. So that's what this is about. It's about releasing the healing, he releasing and healing the past and experiencing love right now. So I do believe that we do have an individual that is ready. They're done playing games and they're ready to uh, maybe commit. But the hair, hair font's about commitment to somebody that they feel a deep connection to. So, good luck. 